Welcome to Bedtime Astronomy, Cosmic Chronicles Edition. Drift off to Dreamland with the week's space news. We're bringing the cosmos to your bedside, one celestial story at a time. Let's explore the universe together, one star, planet, or black hole at a time. Cosmic Chronicles, this week in astronomy. Mars Rock Intrigue The rusty plains of Mars, once a canvas of purely geological fascination, have become a thrilling frontier in the search for extraterrestrial life. NASA's Perseverance rover recently unearthed a rock, aptly named Chiava Falls, that has captivated the scientific community and the public alike. This unassuming Martian boulder displays features that could potentially whisper secrets of a bygone Martian biosphere. However, the road to definitive answers is paved with meticulous analysis, and scientists are taking a measured approach, emphasizing the need for further investigation before popping the champagne corks of extraterrestrial discovery. The intrigue lies within a band of reddish Martian rock, marred by a sprinkling of white, tannish leopard spots, each roughly a millimeter across and encircled by a thin black ring. Perseverance's onboard instruments, the lifeblood of Martian exploration, detected the presence of iron phosphate molecules within these spots. While not a definitive biosignature on its own, Iron phosphate plays a crucial role in biological processes on Earth. This discovery, coupled with the presence of veins of calcium sulfate running through the rock, has ignited a spark of excitement. Calcium sulfate, a mineral often associated with hydrated environments, suggests the presence of past water flow, a key ingredient for life as we know it. Herein lies the crux of the scientific debate. Are these features whispers of a past Martian biosphere, or a captivating example of non-biological Martian chemistry? Seasoned scientists are urging caution, reminding us that the natural world on Mars is capable of producing remarkable, yet non-biological, phenomena. Chemical reactions involving iron-rich minerals are known to produce similar-looking spots. Additionally, the black ring may not be directly linked to the spots themselves, further complicating the interpretation. As Ken Farley, project scientist for the Perseverance mission at Caltech, aptly states, the leopard spots are interesting, but we don't know yet what caused them. He emphasizes that definitively proving past Martian life demands a more nuanced understanding, requiring a deeper analysis of the rock's composition and formation processes. The future for Chiava Falls involves a rigorous interrogation by Perseverance's sophisticated instruments. The rover can take high resolution close-up images of the spots and utilize its laser to analyze their chemical composition in greater detail. This deeper analysis could provide vital clues about the formation process, potentially revealing if the spots are the result of biological or geological processes. However, the most definitive answer may lie in collecting rock samples and returning them to Earth for a thorough examination in state-of-the-art laboratories. Such a mission, a technological marvel in itself, would allow scientists to employ the full arsenal of analytical techniques unavailable on the Martian surface. These techniques could definitively identify biosignatures organic molecules that point towards the past or present existence of life. The discovery of Chiava Falls serves as a powerful reminder of humanity's ongoing quest to answer the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? 
while this rock may not definitively prove past Martian life, it adds another captivating chapter to the exploration of our red neighbor. It serves as a stepping stone for further investigation, potentially revealing secrets about the history of water on Mars and the possibility of past or even present microbial life. The journey towards unraveling these Martian mysteries has only just begun, and the scientific community, with bated breath, awaits the next data transmission from Perseverance, hoping it will tip the scales towards a definitive answer. As we delve deeper into the Martian landscape, one rover scoop, one laser zap, and one image at a time, the secrets of Mars and potentially the existence of life beyond Earth, may finally be unlocked. A new gravitational wave technique for supermassive black holes. The quest to understand the universe's most enigmatic residents, supermassive black holes, has taken a fascinating turn. A new research team including scientists from the University of Zurich, has proposed a groundbreaking technique for detecting these elusive giants using the ripples of space-time, gravitational waves. Traditionally, astronomers have relied on the immense gravitational pull of supermassive black holes to indirectly infer their presence. This involves observing the behavior of stars or gas swirling around the galactic center at incredibly high speeds. However, this method has limitations. Dust and gas can obscure the central regions, making direct observation difficult. The proposed technique flips the script. Instead of focusing on the supermassive black hole's influence, it leverages the gravitational waves emitted by a binary system containing stellar mass black holes. These smaller black holes, when locked in a tight orbit around each other, generate ripples in space-time. As these waves travel outward, if they encounter a much larger supermassive black hole, its gravitational influence ever so slightly warps the waves. This subtle distortion becomes the key. By meticulously analyzing the properties of these gravitational waves using future space-based detectors like LISA, Laser Interferometer Space Antenna, scientists can potentially infer the presence and properties of the supermassive black hole. It's akin to using the ripples caused by a pebble to detect a hidden boulder in a murky pond. The significance of this method lies in its ability to bypass the limitations of traditional techniques. Supermassive black holes often reside in environments shrouded in dust and gas, rendering them invisible to telescopes. However, Gravitational waves travel unimpeded, offering a clearer window into their presence. Furthermore, the proposed method leverages the growing field of gravitational wave astronomy. LISA, with its superior sensitivity compared to ground-based detectors, will be able to pick up on fainter gravitational waves emitted by smaller black holes. These fainter waves, in turn, can act as even more sensitive probes for the presence of supermassive black holes. This innovative approach holds immense promise for revolutionizing our understanding of supermassive black holes. By unveiling their presence and properties across a wider range of galaxies, Astronomers can gain deeper insights into their role in galactic evolution and the overall structure of the universe. The dance of these smaller black holes might just be the key to unlocking the secrets of the hidden giants that rule the galactic course. Unearthing Venus's past, similarities to early Earth hint at a shared history. Venus 
our closest planetary neighbor, has long been shrouded in an inferno of extreme heat and pressure. Often dubbed Earth's evil twin due to these harsh conditions, new research suggests a more intriguing possibility. Venus may share a surprisingly similar past with our own planet. A recent study has identified features on the Venusian surface that bear a resemblance to continents on early Earth. These potential continental regions are vast, elevated areas that could rewrite our understanding of Venus's geological history. This discovery is significant for several reasons. Firstly, it challenges the prevailing notion of Venus as a planet that underwent a runaway greenhouse effect, leading to its current scorching state. The presence of continental-like features suggests a more complex and dynamic geological past for Venus. Secondly, these findings could provide valuable insights into the evolution of rocky planets like Earth and Venus. By comparing the geological histories of these two planets, scientists can gain a better understanding of the factors that shape the development of planetary surfaces. Understanding the processes that shaped Venus's past could also have implications for our understanding of the future of our own planet. Studying the potential causes of any runaway greenhouse effect on Venus could help us develop strategies to mitigate climate change on Earth. Overall, the discovery of continental-like features on Venus opens up exciting new avenues for research. It challenges our assumptions about Venus's history and offers a glimpse into the shared past of our two rocky planets. Further exploration of these features, potentially through future robotic missions, could shed even more light on the evolution of Venus and Earth, and the factors that govern the development of habitable worlds.